Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. Let's find the square root of a huge six digit number using a short trick. The long division method is the method where the students face the majority of problems. And if you want to get rid of the uh, fear of long division method, then you need to learn something untraditional. This number 223729, which I have taken, is a perfect square number. And you can find the square root of this number very easily using this trick so watch the entire video you are going to learn something very very useful today for uh, you know school exams and uh, for developing 10 times faster speed of calculations to crack the multiple choice questions in the quantitative aptitude exams let me tell you about the best offers currently going on uh, on our channel the ebook of short tricks you know uh, that's something uh, which everybody targets and most of the students you know they uh, utilize their summer vacation studying these short tricks given in the ebook over 350 short tricks with video support you know uh, that's what we need and uh, the school students can develop uh, you know amazing speed of calculations when they study from this they can use it to crack the olympiads the ntsc and the future professional exams which they are going to appear in uh, the reasoning course uh, comes as a combo with the ebook of short tricks and that too with video support so this is the best seller as of now uh, the ebooks uh, combo and uh, if you are a cbsc student looking for the worksheets cbsc worksheets we have complete sets for uh, practicing your uh, school curriculum you can download our learning loop app from the description given in the description box below uh, or send me a message on whatsapp 9896367963 we have lots and lots of content for all your educational needs let's see the trick in hand now double two three seven two nine huge number right and long division method is scary at least for 95 percent of the students now what are the steps involved watch carefully because after watching this video you have to try this method on five digit six digit seven digit perfect square numbers and i'm sure you are going to crack all those questions very easily when we have the number double two three seven two nine the first thing we do is to pair up the numbers from the right hand side so 29 forms one pair 37 the second pair and 22 the third pair now what is the use of the last pair that is 29 this gives us the unit digit of our answer 29 ends in 9 and 3 square is 9 that ends in 9 and 7 square is 49 that ends in 9. So there are two possibilities of the unit digit. Now our answer is a three digit number because there are three pairs and there are two possibilities because the unit digit can either be 3 or by or be 7. Now 3 or 7. Now there are two possibilities that is the use of the last pair of numbers now let's see the first pair of numbers 22 for 22 we just need to check which number below 22 is a perfect square nearest to 22 mind you so you know that 4 square is 16 that is nearest to 22 and 5 square obviously will exceed 22 we don't want that so 4 square that 4 becomes the first digit of our answer so that is the only possibility so our answer starts with 400 something right so ending digit that means the last digit is either 3 or 7 the first digit is 4 now till here this is oral procedure i don't think you, do, uh, you need a pen and paper to get these two digits only in the middle digit you need a pen and paper how do you do that see 22 and 16 the difference is 6, right? Just write the second pair 37 with 6. So you get 637. And the first digit is 4. The answer has the first digit as 4. We already found that out. Double that up. You get 8. And just write it like this. Now, this is the single step which Re nearly resembles long division but if you call it long division you are stressing yourself so let us not call it long division we are using the first step that is double of four here and 
subtracting 22 and 16 to get 6 and then using the second pair 37 with that. Now I need a digit here like 8, 181, 82, 83, 84 up to 89. It can be anything which when multiplied by the same digit gives me a number closest to 637. Now this is the only thing we have to understand. So 81 times 1 is 81 which is much below 637. You can do 82 times 2 that is 164 again much below 637. So you can straightforward move on to like 86 times 6. So 66 six are 36 and uh, 48, 51, 516 still it is below uh, 637. So let's try 87, 87 times 7, 7 7 are 49, 9 4, 8 6, 8 7 are 56 and 460. So very close to 637 there. And that's what we wanted. We wanted a number which is closer to 637, rather closest to 637, but it does not exceed 637. So that digit is 7 and this was the digit I am looking for. The middle digit of my answer is 7. Now, which one is the correct option? Now, there are two different methods through which we can get to our final answer. Whether it is 473 or it is 477. The Vedic maths comes to our rescue here. The Bijank. That means the digit sum. Bijank is a single digit for any number. So if 473 is a correct answer, then 473 times 473 should give me the required number 223729. So what is the Bijank or the single digit of 473? It is 4 plus 7 plus 3 which is 14. 14 is again a two digit number. So 1 plus 4 is 5. And this is obviously the same thing. So 5. On the right hand side, I can cancel off the 9s. What am I left with? 2 plus 2 plus 3 is 7. Now 5 times 5 is 25. And 25 gives me 2 plus 5 which is 7. And look at this. The B junk of the left hand side and the B junk of the right hand side is exactly the same. So my answer for the square root is 473. If you check the B junk of 477 times 477 and compare it with the uh, B junk of the right hand side that is 223729, it will never be same because 477 is the incorrect square root of the given six digit number. So I know when you watch it for the first time, it looks like a huge procedure because you are just watching it, right? When you practice 50, 60 such questions, you know, this becomes very easy. For me, I can do that in like 10 to 15 seconds time. And if you can do that in 15 seconds or even 20 seconds, you will be one among those 1% students who can actually do it in that amount of time. So friends, practice is, is what is required and practice is what we provide through our ebook of short tricks which is available right now the whatsapp number 9896369963 you can send me a message on this number i'll tell you how to get that ebook of short tricks and the reasoning course combo if you are preparing for ssc ibps railways banking you know whatever uh, competitive exams the students are aspiring uh, uh, to get into a government job uh, they are using the ebook of short tricks even for cat the placements and tscs the imos you know, lots and lots of uh, exams are there in which quant portion is used. So friends, do uh, send me a message. Do share this video with all your friends so that they can also uh, enjoy the beauty of mathematics. Do subscribe to the channel and click the bell-shaped icon for getting the notifications. Thanks for watching this and all the best.